good afternoon all so welcome all of you in this session we are discussing about clock problems last class we discussed about calendar problem uh, that was an uh, interesting topic similarly clock problem is also a very interesting topic so for the new students this is the book we have written for csar net party which is currently the best seller book available in amazon and flipkart and check out our other playlist in this channel for gate upsc csac csar uh, vedic maths etc and this is how you can be part of our telegram channel whatsapp group and uh, the uh, blog post you can get from christyvergus.in website check the description of this video to find the links for these things so let us start clock problems or the important aspects of clocks the first important thing you should know about clocks is yeah clock problem means most of the questions are based on an analog clock very rarely only digital clock related questions are asked most of the time question is based on analog clock for an analog clock as you know there is uh, there is three hands minute hand hour hand and seconds hand but we are more concerned about minute hand and hour hand only so questions are also based on minute hand and hour hand most of the time so first idea you should know is the angle between minute hand and hour hand if a given time for a given time what is the angle between minute hand and hour hand there is a shortcut formula for that there is a logical way to do that also i will discuss both of it but in this case in this case only i will say the formula is better than the logical way because logical way in some questions it will be very time consuming but formula way will be useful for all cases with the question i will explain that formula also that will be better this was a june 2013 net exam problem make a try all of you and I'll mention the answer in the chat all of you Okay, so I will explain what is the angle between minute and hour hand of a clock at 7.35. At 7.35, the clock will look like this. Some people have misunderstanding about this also. 7.35, some people may imagine. 7.35 means hour hand is on 7. 35 minutes means minute hand is also on 7. Na? So, if that is what you think, the answer will be 0 degree. Because angle between will be 0. Na? Because it is 1 over the other. But actually, it is not 0 degree because... Minute hand is on 7 when it is on 35, that is clear. But our hand is not on 7. Our hand will be on 7 when? At 7 o'clock time only, like this. Our hand being on 7 is at 7 o'clock. That is when our hand will be on 7. And at 8 o'clock it will be on 8. In between, each minute or each second, our hand is moving slowly, slowly, right? That means by the 35 minutes, minute hand have travelled. Our hand also is traveling that much distance proportionally, proportionately. That means in 60 minutes of minute hand, our hand will travel from here to here. 7 to 8. So in 35 minutes, it is traveling some distance. Due to that, there is a gap between minute hand and our hand. And that is what the question is asking. I will call that theta. The angle between minute hand and our hand as theta. So that theta value we need to find. How to find theta value? That is where the formula comes into play. The formula is half into 60H minus 11M. If 60H minus 11M is a negative value, this modulo symbol will make it, modulus symbol will make it positive. That is what the modulus symbol or absolute value symbol means. 
negative make make it positive by taking the negative of it so that means half into 60 h h means our hand value here it is 735 so our hand value is 37 and m is 35 minutes because m is minute hand value that is 35 so substitute this here and you can solve the question 60 into 7 minus 11 into 35 half of that 60 into 7 is 420 11 into 35 is 385 in my speed math lectures or vedic math lectures in this channel i have taught a short trick for multiplying with 11 to multiply a two digit number with 11 just write the digits and write the sum of digits in between 3 and 5 sum is 8 so that is sandwiching the sum of digits will give you multiplication with 11 value so that is a short trick in vedic math we have given multiple lectures on that in this channel check out the Vedic math or speed math playlist for the same. So anyway that is 385 here it was useful that is why I just mentioned it. So there are many other speed math uh, techniques to do multiplication with not only with 11 for any numbers. So anyway half into 420 minus 385 that will be half into 35. 35 positive or negative uh, like 35 as it is positive you don't have to worry just take half of it. If it is negative negative degree does not make sense that is why we are making it positive by taking the modulus of it so half into 35 is 17.5 degree so that is the answer all of you understood this this is the short trick for doing these questions using the formula now i will tell you the logic behind also logically also you can do but for logically doing first of all you need to know in every minute minute hand will, will be traveling how much angle and our hand will be traveling how much angle after that, I will tell you the logical way of doing the same question. In every minute, minute hand will travel 6 degree. How we know? In one hour, minute hand will travel this much. Na? That means 360 degree. Because in one hour, it will complete a full circle. Circle is 360 degree. Na? So, one hour means 60 minutes, minute hand will travel 360 degree. So, one minute, it will travel 360 by 60. Na? That is 6 degree. That is how we get 6 degree. All of you understood that this idea in one minute minute hand will travel one minute means this much distance this much distance is six degree because total 60 divisions this is just one out of 60 divisions that is one out of 60 of 360 degree similarly in one hour our hand will travel how much distance in one hour our hand will travel for example 12 o'clock to one o'clock our hand will travel from here to here now Total this full circle is 12 hours. 12 hours is 360 degree. So, 1 hour will be 360 by 12. That is 30 degree. So, in 1 hour, our hand will travel 30 degree. In 1 minute, minute hand will travel uh, minute hand will travel 6 degree. All of you clear? These two ideas. And these two ideas, if you know, you can do that previous question logically also. I will explain that also. Listen very carefully. We know that 735 minute hand is on 7 for sure. Minute hand is on 7 for sure. So from 7, our hand is how much away? That is what we need to know. If there were 60 minutes, it will travel 360 degree. Sorry, it will travel uh, 30 degree, not 360, 30 degree. Why 30 degree? Because from 7 to 8 only in 1 hour our hand will travel. Now we discuss that. Na? So in 35 minutes how much it will travel? That is what we need to know. 60 minutes 30 degree means 5 minutes it will be 1 by 12th of it. Or you can say 1 minute it will be uh, 30 by 60. Half. So in 35 minutes it is 35 into half. 35 into half is 17.5. So 17.5 degree further from 7 o'clock or 7 marking that is 17.5 is the answer in this case it was easy because the minute hand was exactly on a 7 or on a number value but if it is not exactly instead of 35 it was 33 or 32 then it will be little more trickier that is why i told you in this case formula is better for finding angle between our hand and minute hand anyway i will show you one more latest question which was asked in net exam september 2022 this was asked make a try all of you this concept is very important.
all of your fried Okay, some of you got an answer. Let's see whether it is correct. Angle video in minute hand and hour hand at 3.15. 3.15 the clocks will look like this, the hour hand and minute hand. You can use the formula itself directly. Half into 60H minus 11M. Half into 60 into hour hand value is 3 minus 11 into 15 minutes. 3.15. So, 11 into 15. So that is half into 180 minus 11 into 15. Use the Vedic matrix I just mentioned before. 1, 5, sandwich 1 plus 5 in between 6. That is half into 15. Uh, modulus of that is 15. 15 by 2 is 7.5. So, that is how this formula will help you to do the question. And this was a September 2022 problem. Same question was asked in uh, gate exam in a different way. Yeah, this was that question. Gate 2020. I will say this question's exact repetition was that 2022 CSER problem. Here instead of 315 directly mentioning, they mention quarter past 3. Quarter past means quarter hours after 3. That way also the question can be an asked. Quarter hours means 1 hour is 60 minutes. So quarter hour is 15 minutes. So 15 minutes after 3. That is 315. That means literally the same question. No? At 315 what is the hour hand, um, angle between minute 10 and hour hand? 7.5. Same question itself. All of you understood? Now, this question can be asked reverse uh, in the reverse way also. Here, our hand and minute hand value given, you need to find the angle between them. Look at this question, September 2022 in a exam problem. Here, a particular angle is given, you need to find which time that will happen. Which time that will happen. All of you make a try. September 2022 in a exam problem. Two minutes I will give you, all of you try. Okay, some of you got an answer. Let's see whether it is right. After 12 o'clock, the hour hand and minute hand of a clock will be perpendicular to each other for the first time at. Perpendicular means 90 degree. So, at what time? What time 90 degree? That means angle is given. After 12 o'clock means? After 12 means it will be uh, 12 something. That means hour hand value you can consider as 12 itself. Hour hand value you can consider as 12 itself. So, this is what the question is asking. There will be some time like this, where this angle is like this, na, 90 degree. At 12.15, what will happen? This is on 3, but this is not on 12. It have traveled a little further. Na. 
So you can guess that the time is little after 12.15. Little after 12.15. Actually that itself is enough to finish this question. This is exactly 12.15. That is wrong. Little after 12.15 the option is option A. But there is another problem. 90 degree can occur in two ways actually. 90 degree can occur in two ways. 12.16 something, 12.14 and something, two things, two possibilities are there. 90 degree in every hour generally happens in two occasions, two times. But 0 degree and 180 degree happens maximum one time only. So, I will explain. So, you can use the formula itself to solve this question. And when you use the formula, let me tell you one more shortcut. 12 o'clock, you can consider our hand value as 0 also, our hand value as 12 also. Now you may say, if you use two values, two different answers will happen. Na? No, it will be same answers itself because there are two cases anyway for this formula. I will tell you why two cases are there. Anyway, this is a short trick. You can use 0 instead of 12 because putting 0 is easy to calculate. Theta is equal to half into 60 H minus 11 M. That is the formula. Here, our hand value is 12 or 0. As I told you, 0. That is easier. 11 into m value we don't know that is what we need to find seconds is also there but from minutes you can find seconds the theta is given is 90 degree perpendicular means 90 degree now so this you can solve so cross multiplying 180 you will get is equal to 0 minus my 11 m 11 m modulus 11 m minus 11 m modulus there are two possibility minus into minus 11 m plus 11 m uh, minus 11m itself but minus 11m will give you a negative answer time cannot be negative that is why you can avoid that but actually there is a second case also that is what I am trying to say so 11m is equal to 180 so m is equal to 180 by 11 180 by 11 180 by 11 when you simplify you will get 16 something 16 something that means only option which is 16 something is this or if you want to precisely get exact answer of 21 seconds, that also I will show you. But in exam hall, you don't need that actually. You can use options obviously. So 11 means 70 remaining. Uh, 70 will have 6 and uh, that is 4 remaining. 16 and 4 by 11. 4 by 11 is partial minutes. That is called seconds. Every minute is 60 seconds. So 4 by 11 minutes is 4 by 11 into 60. Conversion of units. That is 240 by 11. 240 by 11 is actually 21 seconds. Uh, 21 seconds. So that will be 16 minutes, 21 seconds. All of you understood? So option A is the answer. So this way also, this is little more time consuming question compared to the previous question. So now another, uh, these are more examples of the same type. Another important type is, when hands will coincide or when hands will be opposite to each other. Now we discuss perpendicular case. Na? But hands coinciding and hands opposite to each other is also important. So there is a magic number you can buy heart. After 65 and 5 by 11 minutes, a particular angle can repeat. What does that mean? For example, at 6 o'clock, Angle between our hand and minute hand is 180 degree. Na? Now, after how many minutes the same 180 degree can be created? 65 and 5 by 11 minutes. 5 by 11 minutes, if you want to, you can convert it into seconds by multiplying by 60. That is 300 by 11. That will be 27 seconds approximately. That means 65 minutes, 27 seconds later, this will happen. That means 60 minutes means 1 hour. 6 o'clock plus 1 hour is 7 o'clock. Plus 5 minutes 27 seconds. That means 7, 5, this time will be 7, 5, 27 seconds. Are you getting the point? Why it is not 7 o'clock? Because at 7 o'clock, even if minute hand is on 12, our hand have travelled from here to here. 30 degree it have travelled. That is why it is not 180, it is just 150 degree. Are you getting the point? And this, this you can generate more number. 6 o'clock this happens. Then 1 hour 5 minutes, 1 hour 5 minutes 27 seconds again it will happen. Then again 1 hour 5 minutes 27 seconds that means 8, 10, 54. 8, 10, 54. Then again 1 hour 5 minutes 27 seconds. Likewise you can generate all the time when 180 degree is occurring. 
So after 65 5 by 11 minutes means generally in every hour this will happen only once. But actually some hours it won't happen that also I will discuss. With a question I will explain. Look at this question November 2020 in a exam problem all of you make a try. And if you are feeling the session is useful do hit the like button do comment on this video and do share this video to maximum people. To support this initiative that is the minimum you can do. Uh, because then more people will get to know about the session and I will also be able to uh, schedule more such sessions in the future. Any answers? Okay, some of you got an answer. I will explain. Our hand and mid hand of a clock are along the same line in a certain time. As I told, you can take the example of 6 o'clock. When they will, they will be collinear. Collinear means on the same line itself. Along the same line, another way word is collinear. In the clock, sorry, in the geometry class, I explained about collinearity already. Uh, they will be collinear next after a lapse of time which is closest to after how much minutes they will be again on the same straight line that is the question that is what i just taught you 65 and 5 by 11 minutes closest to means which option is nearest to 65 and 5 by 11 minutes it is clearly 63 minutes so option c is the answer now i will tell you the practical meaning of each options 30 minutes after 30 minutes what happens 6 o'clock after 30 minutes means 6 30 now 6.30 the angle is not collinear at all. Collinear means it should be 180 degree. This is much closer to 0, not 180. Now, next option is 60 minutes. 60 minutes, option B. 60 minutes is better than 30 minutes because 60 minutes, this angle is like 150 degree. Why 150 I know? Because full circle, this is 180. This is 30 degree less, so 150. But better than that is... 63 minutes yeah, because this is little more than 150 for sure and more than 150 for sure 655 5 by 11 minutes is perfect but closer to that is this so more closer to collinear condition or 180 degree is clearly 63 if there was a 64 in the options that was better if there was a 65 in the options that was even better are you getting the point so this magic number 65 and 5 by 11 minutes if you can remember that is very good now, uh, this is another important question. Try this November 2020. This was asked. One eighty degree condition we discussed. This is zero degree condition. That is hands one over the other. Hands one over the other. Minute hand over our hand or our hand over minute hand.
or if you drive okay so i'll explain okay some of you got the answer number of times the minute hand and hour hand uh, of a clocks are exactly above each other that is zero degree from 1 am to 1 am the next day 1 am to 1 am means it is saying 24 hours today 1 am to tomorrow 1 am means it is 24 hours now so 24 hours you may say that every hour it will happen once no it will happen once every hour if it is 60 minutes now 60 minutes 60 minutes 60 minutes 24 hours 24 times but 65 and 5 by 11 or approximately 65 minutes means 5 minutes extra every time that will add up to reduce one instant i will explain how at 12 o'clock it is zero degree at 12 o'clock it is zero degree like this then 65 high by 11 minutes zero degree also will repeat that means 155 by 11 that is what is listed here 155 by 11 this will happen between 1 and 2 between 2 and 3 again adding 5 and 5 by 11 minutes or 65 5 by 11 minutes you will get 2 10 10 by 11 then 3 16 4 by 11 look at this this is going away and away from the uh, from that hour value from 3 this is 16 minutes away from 4 this is 21 minutes away from 5 this is 27 minutes away from 6 it is 32 minutes away and finally between 10 and 11, it is happening at 10.50 6 by 11. That is 10.55 approximately. Between 10 and 11, this will happen at 10.54. That means 10 and 11, one instant is there. Then adding 65 minutes, it will reach 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock is already counted. Na? 12 o'clock is already counted here. So counting it again is not possible. That means between 11 and 12, te technically, there is no instant where 0 degree is created. Yes, we can say at 12 it happened, but 12 was already counted, na? between 12 and 1. Or in other words, we can say between 11 and 1, 2 hours are there, but it happens only once. What? 0 degree occurrence. All of you clear? That is why the answer is not 24, it is 22, because in 12 hour it happens only 11 times. So, in 24 hour it happens 22 times. So, option B is the answer. 22 times. All of you clear how 22 times? Please respond. The same question can be asked this way. How many times do the hands of a clock coincide in a day? 22 times. Not only coincide, collinear also is 22 times. Because 0 degree occurs 22 times, 180 degree also occurs 22 times. But 90 degree occurs double the times. Because 90 degree can occur two ways. Minute hand before our hand case also, minute hand after our hand case also in every hour. But that also have exceptions. That is why it is not 48 hours, it is 44 hours. Hands coinciding, these are the times when it happens. Hope all of you understood it. Like this, 11 times only it happens. 11 times only. So, these are the basic concepts of clock problem. CSAR also asked, gate asked the same question in 2022. Look at this. Instead of 24 hours, they asked 12 hours. That is 11 times. Super easy. Same question, no? literally the same question. 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. CSAR asked 1 a.m. to 1 a.m. That is 24 hours. 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. is 12 hours only. I am again and again telling CSAR and gate you can prepare to an extent most of the topics together. Only few topics are different that you have to prepare separately. And for preparing separately those topics also I have given many lectures already. Those who are preparing for February 2024 gate exam. Check out our playlist in this channel gate 2024 general aptitude free complete course complete free course. If you feel it is useful, do share it to more and more people. It is for all gate streams, whether it is pure science, whether it is uh, engineering, whether it is humanities, all gate aspirants have the same aptitude section itself. There is no separate type for different streams or different subjects. So that's it. If this session was useful, do hit the like button. Today there is one more free live class at 8.30 p.m. Thank you all of you. Take care all of you. Have a good day. See you all on the next class.